come closer let's talk about skincare hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a skincare haul and showing you guys some of my skincare essentials let's get into it so i just restocked for the month and i got all my skincare products from buy better located at lagos they sell authentic skincare products so if you're looking forward to get your skincare in nigeria you should definitely check them out Starting off with my body wash, I got the scent Ive Citrus and Cherry Blossom. I've actually used their oatmeal and shea butter and it smells really nice. So I decided to try another one instead of getting the, set, the oatmeal and shea butter again. So I got this Citrus and Cherry Blossom. This is an energizing body wash and I want something that is more exfoliating so I went for this. A TikTok girl has been talking a lot about Kojic Sand and I decided to get it. So I got the Zero Pigment Lights. There's two types of it. The, it's a skin lightening soap. I was very skeptical at first about this but if you're trying to get rid of discoloration in your dark armpits or your inner thighs, I would advise you to get it. I've used it once but I think it was the second one I used and it, was, it didn't really do what they said it was going to do so I decided to give it another try after seeing a lot of good reviews on TikTok. So I'm going to let you guys know how it goes body oil is one essential must have in my skincare in my routine i've noticed that when you use body oil right after the shower like right after you come up from the shower when your body is a little bit damp it actually tends to last longer and it just gives your body this really nice glow so i always go in first with body oils before i go in with my body lotion i just restocked on this vaseline cocoa radiant so if you're looking for a good body oil this this one this smells really nice and it leathers very well on your body it's not going to get dry easily so i always go in with it first then i go in with my body lotion for my body lotion i am currently using the nivea radiant and beauty if you're on a budget and you want like that good scenting body oil i would say get this because this smells really nice and it also leathers very well on the skin makes your skin feel soft and smooth that's just how it is that i really like but i did get the cocoa the nourishing cocoa this is new i haven't tried it out yet so you know i'm going to try it out and let you guys know which i prefer but i think this is definitely going to be at the top of my list for my moisturizers i like to use a hydrating moisturizer because i have very dry skin so if you're like me that has dry skin Actually, I have combination skin, but like this time of the year, it is really dry. So I got the Simple Hydrating Light Moisturizer. This has niacinamide in it, so I think it's going to be a good product. I mean, so far, I've seen good reviews, but this is what I have been using, the Cosarex Advanced New All-in-One Cream. This got so pricey, and I decided to try something that is a bit affordable, but also good. So yeah, I got this. You can get either of this. For cleansers, I don't like to, you know, think too much. I mean, you can splurge on your cleansers if you want to, but I feel like they just all do the same thing. Just get a good hydrating cleanser, you know, and you're good to go. So I'm currently using the Thera Faith Fact Ceramide Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Yes, it's a dupe for Therapy. So if you're someone who uses Therapy cleanser and you're looking for an, a dupe for it, this is much much affordable than Therapy. So this is what i'm currently using and it gets the job done i like it for someone with dry skin i don't joke about my hydrating products because they help make my skincare routine easier like it actually does help me a lot with like my acne and hyperpigmentation so i got the snail azulene water essence this is actually my second bottle if you're looking for a dupe for the cosarex snail mucin i'll say you should get this because he has most of the ingredients that are inside here it's perfect so you know this i think i got this for eight thousand something and i think this is ranging between twelve to thirteen thousand so if you're looking for dupes go with it for deodorant i'm going to put you guys on the nivea brightening deep serum this is actually a very good roll on if you have dark armpits and you're looking to like brighten it up a little bit i've been using this now for a while and i can say that i've actually seen small changes nothing big or like you know but you know give it time if you're looking for something that does that i'll say you should get this but if you want something that just smells nice and is dry you can get the nivea pearl and beauty 
nice combo the essentials that i don't joke with are my sunscreens guys sunscreen is really really important in your skincare routine especially if you're using harsh chemical products like glycolic acid your aha and bhas it's actually really good vitamin c's and all that so always always use a sunscreen this one is the hatsumogi sunscreen it's a japanese sunscreen but it stinks so if you don't mind that in fact you would obviously mind that i would advise that you use this for your body i use this for my body and my neck area like yeah for my neck down so that's what i use this for and my all-time favorite being the bio aqua i use this for my face this leather well so it doesn't leave any white cast and i just got the skin aqua so i want to try this out never used it before you it's necessary to have a body and face sunscreen you can actually just use your face sunscreen for your entire body that's fine as well but always use your sunscreen in your routine guys i recently started adding supplements to my routine and i can say that now and i understand the hype behind taking supplements because it's not just about what you apply on your skin it's also about what you take into what you eat so it's always good to try to eat healthy eat clean and also watch what you put into your body because that plays a huge role on how your skin is going to look so if you want that glowy clear skin you actually have to watch your diet and your gut health as well so take probiotics and all those right now i'm not taking any probiotic but i'm taking the pure evening prime rose this is the 90 capsule 500 milligrams so i take this like at least three times a week i don't always remember to do it every day but i take it three times a week this says grapeseed but it's not grapeseed that it's inside the grapeseed is finished and now what i actually put in is omega-3 capsule this really helps me so yeah take your supplement guys and it's clean you're going to see a huge difference on your skin appearance when you start eating right and eating clean another one of my essentials in my skincare routine so i don't wipe my face with a towel because i noticed you can dry them and since you don't wash your towels every day like bacterial and stuff on them so for your face your face is really really sensitive it's better if you're using a disposable towel so i use this disposable cotton pads they come like it's actually heavy sorry not heavy this is how it comes so i actually divide this into two i don't use this one at once you can divide it into two the economy is hard and then you can use it to wipe your face once you get out of the shower you would see like extra dirt on your face and you can also apply your toner on this to use i don't i no longer apply my toner directly on the cotton pad i'd rather wipe my face first with this then pat the toner in my hand and like tap it on my face that saves me a lot of products rather than applying it on the cotton pad directly so you can try that method it's you know product is expensive skincare is expensive now it's costing so much so if you're trying to save money you can try that method as well feminine wash is not a must have you don't have to have it but if you can you should get it so i don't use this every day i use this like maybe two to three times a week and sometimes i just wash with water and that is fine but mostly when it's around a period time i like to you know use this so this is the summer eve feminine wash you could also get femme fresh i've used femme fresh and it's really nice but currently this is what i'm using and this this is really really nice i just think some once in a while it's good to you know wash down there with something extra let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this of about feminine hygiene i'll be doing a full body shower routine to show to you guys and a full skincare routine so watch out for those videos thank you so much for watching see you in my next vlog